we struggle. We live just like anybody else does, paycheck to paycheck. And I mean, we want to save, but Arkin has special needs. When you see him walking down the hall, he's got a noticeable limp. His leg is clearly too small now. My parents have to pay for a new leg every year. The insurance that he's on doesn't even recognize prosthetics. We had him using Tinkercad a little bit, which allowed him to get in front of the computer and, and just kind of play around, make a birdhouse, make a car. And it wasn't for a couple of months until he st started thinking, all right, well, what about this leg? It's changed my life because I didn't even know what 3D printing was. Now I'm just constantly thinking of new ideas of what I can do. I had heard the story about Arkin printing the 3D leg for himself and the fact that he only got a leg every three years for a child that's totally unacceptable. It's a shame that a teacher has to look at one of their students and then has to get a hold of a community and the community here just stepped up to help him. But him not being able to get that and to be able to live up to his potential, it, it's a shame that we do this to our kids when it's so easy to help them. You know, over here is basically like a big family. Makes me feel like I'm home. I, I'm, I'm so happy, excited and happy for him because he needed it.